morning guys today is comp day at clutch kickers uh, as you guys saw yesterday qual qualifying didn't go nearly as well as I'd hoped um, first run we lost crank pulley had to weld it back together second run I got a 70 which was decent but not nearly as good as I wanted to I made some mistakes that were pretty obvious to me um, we got a drivers meeting here in a little bit then we got one hour to do tandem practice uh, yesterday in practice, I was not focused on tandem practice. I was focused on qu my qualifying line, so I want to get a few, uh, a few good lead, uh, sorry, follow laps, and uh, get really comfortable with transitions and getting in the right spot of the track at the right time. Um, Sup? And so, uh, man, this guy was killing it yesterday. I'm vlogging with Brandon. It's, it's just my hand, though. <laughs> the camera's not even this, on. Well, you I'm killed it. You did too. You killed it. You welded your shit back together. So, <laughs> so uh, it's time to get some good, good tandem practice in, and then we've got uh, top 64. So we got to work through a ton of battles today. Um, but I'm confident with the car. I think the way we welded the pulley back together is going to be fine. So uh, my only concern is, like I've talked about, is what tires to use at what time. But we'll figure that out today. So I'm going to go check out the drivers' meeting and uh, get to work. So we did practice, uh, tandem practice today. Things went pretty well. Uh, I'm trying to figure out which tires to use, but I think I got a plan in place. Um, we watched the guy that I'm going against and then the potential other guys that I'm going against. Fortunately, they were in the opposite group. So uh, I was able to watch them and their tandems and stuff. So we got a pretty good plan. Um, David and I were kind of strategizing on how to do this. Um, yeah, feeling pretty confident. The car seems good. The crank pulley hasn't fallen off yet. So, things, things are good right now. Um, basically, I just gotta keep my nerves, and uh, it's nothing new, it's just, it's just driving. Just driving like anywhere else. So, uh, the comp's gonna start here in a few minutes, so we're gonna get ready and, uh, and get going. I'm gonna put my driving suit on. The only thing I'm doing that I don't normally do is I'm wearing shoes instead of flip-flops.
copy that. Thank you. prize for winning. Winning the battle. I, I pull up to the line he's like, here you go, good job. So we just got through our first top 64 battle. Uh, right, I think was his name. He did a good job, but he made, he made a couple mistakes and it was just enough uh, to give me the win. We just put on some grippier tires. We're going up against Brandon. Uh, he's been doing really well. I was watching him in practice and he's, he's definitely a good driver, but I think his car is not geared perfect, so he's kind of coming up short in a few spots, so I kind of have a, a game plan for that one. But uh, the car is feeling 100%. I'm feeling really good. Uh, I got the whole, the, whole, the whole squad out here. It's great. Definitely morale is high. I've had my car, but it's still nowhere here. Look at Dave, he's got that radio. It's a great <laughs> So we were kind of discussing what tires to use and whatnot, and I remembered that uh, Mike, Magic Mike, his car broke, so he's headed home. And so I went over and uh, scavenged what he had, and I bought a pair of tires from him. They are Federals, and they look pretty decent. He said they were good for what I what I'm. He's got he's got some grippier tires, but I don't think that would have worked for my car. So I wanted to keep a nice. Uh, consistent grip level, something that I can uh, actually work with with this medium horsepower car. We hurried and got it mounted up thanks to uh, Josh Sparky McGuire and uh, thanks to David and Elijah. Elijah that's right. So uh, we, we got the tires on the car, got them all set up. And my only concern at this point is if these tires have some grip level that is different than what I'm used to. I'm following first, which is probably good for that because uh, I feel like a grippier tire I can do better following and then I'll learn kind of what that grip level is. Anyways, things are going pretty well. Uh, we've had a lot of time just to chill and relax, which is good for my mental well-being. And everybody's just chilling. So this is my top 32 battle. We're getting lined up. Um, I'm going against Brandon McDowell. He's got a 350Z, it looks like it's pretty well prepared. I was watching him in practice and I think his gearing is wrong. And then I just put on these new tires.
So this is my end of day recap. Um, I missed kind of a few things. Uh, let me tell you what happened. We, uh, uh, my first battle we did against Bryce in uh, the Monster S13. And uh, he drove pretty well, but I think he blew off track on his follow run. So I ended up getting the win on that. It was a fun battle. Then uh, we moved on to Brandon McDowell, and uh, he's got a 350Z, it's a fast car, well prepared, and uh, we went up against him and my follow run, I followed first. I did pretty well, but I did an early transition between uh, the outside zone and the last outside zone, so like right in the middle of the track. I did an early transition, it kind of shot me to the inside, which was a big mistake on my part. Uh, so that I was at a little bit of a disadvantage um, and then on my lead run I knew that I had to hang it out there and do a really good qualifying type run so I initiated hard and went as wide as I could and I ended up just dipping one tire off track and it affected my line and all sorts of stuff and so I thought for sure that I had lost when I came in and then the judges decided to deliberate for quite a while, which made me think, well, maybe I didn't do such a bad job. And uh, it turns out they were waiting to hear whether I was one tire or two tire off, and I guess they determined that I went two tires off, and so uh, Brandon got the win. Um, I was, wasn't super disappointed. I mean, obviously I made a mistake, and I'm, you know, if, if I make a mistake and the other guy drives better, then he deserves to win. So that's what happened in that case. Um, it was a very exciting battle after that. I've kind of, the reason I haven't filmed anything, I've just been hanging out, helping other guys, watching, and um, it was a very exciting event. A lot of stuff happened. I'm not gonna go into all that, but uh, if you guys want to watch the, the whole thing, it should be up on the Clutch Kickers YouTube channel. Um, I'm gonna go watch the whole thing later. I missed a lot of it, top 32 and stuff, but very exciting. Some cool, cool guys, well-deserved podiums in this one. Um, I think, uh, I'd like to say my car doesn't need more power to do well. I obviously made a mistake, but I, I really wanted to see how far I could go. Um, obviously I didn't because I made a stupid mistake, but uh, I'm excited to try the next round. I might actually turn the power up before the next round to, uh, to see if I can be more competitive with a little bit more horsepower and a little bit more grip. So, um, yeah, that's about it. I had a great day today and, uh, I'm excited to, uh, to go to the next round. So, uh, we're about to go hit town and grab some dinner tonight, and uh, tomorrow we're going to the beach, back to the Alabama Adventures. Well, Northern Florida Adventures in this case. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.